Adam Bates with the Ohio Department of Transportation. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create an e-signature from a photo. Before getting started with this demonstration, I would like to share a few options for creating an electronic signature. The first option will be the Signature Image Creator application, which is provided within the ODOT standards under the Applications folder. The next will be scanning your signature which we won't be covering within this video, but it's similar to converting the next option, which is a photo of your signature, which I'll be using to cover in this video using PixLR to edit a signature. But you can use your preferred image editing software to convert your signature. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to create electronic signature from a photo, which is in a JPEG format to a PNG format. To do this, you're going to open up the image that you've saved once you've opened up File Explorer, you want to right click, go to Open With, go to Photos, and then open up the photo. Next, you're going to want to use the Snip tool, click New, and select the area of your signature, like so. You're going to want to click on the Save, Snip, save this as photo. As you see here that when you use the snip tool it'll give you the option to save it as a PNG. This is what we want. Click Save, exit out of this, and now you see that you have a PNG of that file. Next I'm going to use a website to edit my signature. PixLR. Select Edit Image. Open Image. We're going to select the PNG that we just created. Once it's open, you're going to want to come up here and go to the Wand Select tool. Select the area. Hit Delete on your keyboard. Clear out all of the white space. Doesn't have to be perfect. Next, you're going to want to go to New Image, and then you're going to want to select for the width, for the optimal space for signatures is 300 pixels to 400 pixels. In my case, I'm going to use 300, and the height is from 70 to 100 pixels, and in my case, I'm going to use 70. Click Create, so now you've got your signature space. You're going to go back up here to the tab where your photo is. You're going to want to click Select All, Control C to copy, go back to the other tab that you just created earlier, and then click Control V. Now you're going to want to go to Arrange, go to Free, and select the grab handles to fit within that signature space that we created. Then you're going to go to Save. As you see here, the PNG now can be saved as transparent. Click Save As. Select the location of where you're wanting to save this. Save. Exit out of that. And now that you have a PNG that's transparent with a clear background. If you have any questions or concerns on what we've just covered within this video, feel free to reach out to us at the CAD Mapping Services Group via service request here, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.